Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the Buffalo State Bengals Dynasty on NCAA Football 14. Today, we have a great game for you, so drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and want to see more NCAA Dynasty content. Today, the Bengals are taking on a loaded Rutgers team with plenty of quality players, particularly in the trenches and on the defensive side of the ball. But our starting true freshman, Arthur Sitkowski at quarterback, who has mediocre arm talent but could be a threat as a scrambler. Should be a very interesting game, but I'm going to turn it over to Legion for the rest of the game. Go Bengals! Thank you, FG. And live from Rutgers University, Kevin Kinsley has it teed up. He steps into it and his right leg gets the season underway for Buffalo State College's first season in FBS play. Lewis takes it out for Rutgers and he gets brought down around the 28-yard line. So that brings out Arthur Sitkowski and the Rutgers offense with excellent starting field position. Sitkowski gives left to Blackshear from the shotgun and he gets brought down by Melvin Flanagan after eight. Offset shotgun formation, give back to Blackshear. He powers through Oliver Rover and picks up a first down and a gain of three. Fresh set of downs for Rutger. Sitkowski trips to his left side. Sitkowski gives to Blackshear. Blackshear sheds a tackle and gains about nine on the carry. They're feeding him early and often. Second down and one, very next play. Hunter Hyatt comes in motion. Sitkowski, it's a speed option. And Dante Randall is there, but hang on, folks. Laundry on the field. And the face mask is called to give Rutgers 10 yards and a first down from the bunch. Sitkowski gives to Blackshear left side. And I don't think he got back to the line of scrimmage. Oliver Rover tracks him down and he went absolutely nowhere. One play later, third down and 10. Buffalo State has a chance to get off the field. Sitkowski snaps, fires outside to Hayek and he makes the catch out of bounds. But it's not enough for a first down. Instead, they bring on the field goal team. And the 52-yarder is good to give Rutgers the 3-0 lead early in the game. And we see Buffalo State's offense from the first time from the offset. Tight end comes in motion, gives Jeremiah Banks for three yards, not much more. Goes to show the battle in the trenches is going to be one to watch today as from the shotgun, Prince gives Banks. Banks powers forward and he picks up a first down and hang on, a flag is down on the field. A redemption call from the earlier face mask and Buffalo State has their first first down and a little bit of help from the offset shotgun. Prince gives back to Banks. Banks bounces off one of his linemen and powers forward for a gain of seven yards on the carry. Physical running attacks for each side, but Buffalo State spreads it out. Tayshawn Prince from the shotgun, fires over the middle, caught. B.J. Lynch for a first down across midfield, and that is Tayshawn Prince's first completion. First down and 10, he tries to keep it this time, and he is swallowed up in the backfield. Could not escape Deontay Roberts and company. And they like to run a lot of these options. Tayshawn Prince, over 1,000 yards last season at the D3 level. As on second down and 12, they send Bush in motion. Bush give right side. Bush tries to get the corner, can't quite get it, but four yards of solid running nonetheless. Third down and eight. Receiver in the slot is Hunter Haskins. Prince steps up and he gets sacked. Drop for a loss of seven. In comes Willington Prevalin. And a solid opening drive from Buffalo State leaves them with no decision but to punt the football. The punter is Derek Rain, fourth down and 15 with 245 ticking. He lets it go and gets a punt out of bounds on the far sideline inside the 20. A nice first punt for him as Sitkowski and the Rutgers offense back up, up by three. And look to make it more, Jerome Washington down inside the 45-yard line close to midfield. Jerome Washington completely beat Brandon Springs, the free safety. And it sprung him, per se, loose for a first down. As Sitkowski powers through two men. And he picks up a first down of his own on the very next play. Rutgers rolling with back-to-back -back big play. Sitkowski says, sit down, Marshawn Colliver. Sheds another tackle. And he picks up a first all by himself on first down. Very next play after the run. 2.15 and ticking. Delayed give to Blackshear. And Blackshear gains six before being brought down by Oliver Rover. Very next play, second down and four, Sitkowski from the shotgun. Pressure comes on the outside, sees it, fires to Jones on the outside, and it's complete for 14 yards. It should mean Jones' first catch of the day. Sitkowski, very next play. He fires, and it's offline, looking for Hunter Hayek, and he had pressure in his face. Very next play, Sitkowski fakes the handoff, keys it himself. Sitkowski breaks a tackle, and he's into the end zone for a Rutgers touchdown. Arthur Sitkowski with two phenomenal runs. 
The last one for 19, this one for 14, and the score as Rutgers goes up 10 to nothing early against Buffalo State. And how about that run earlier, breaking two tackles and picking up a first down to extend the drive. Buffalo State back to work nonetheless. Tayshawn Prince pulls it down and shows that he can run too. He picks up a first down of his own after a gain of 11. Empty set for Prince, fires quickly. DJ Lee can't hang on. A tight window throw and DJ Lee not exactly known for his hands. Second down and 10, bunch to the right. Tayshawn quick throw, Denzel Moss, he led him forward for a first down and a gain of 14 yards. And down by 10, with 55 seconds left in the first quarter, they give it to Jeremiah Banks, and he doesn't get much at all. Swarmed by Rutgers defense. Second down and nine. By trips to the right side. Prince steps back, pressure in his face, fires, and it's way off line. Looking for DJ Lee on the outside. Couldn't connect. Third down and nine. Prince sets up screen. Jeremiah Banks makes the play, tries to get away, and he cannot escape Rutgers yet again. They're playing fast and physical defense, and it's given... Buffalo State a lot of issues in their first D1 contest as they trail Rutgers 0-10 going into the second quarter. Back to action in Buffalo State College's first game at the FBS level as Rutgers starts out with the ball in the second quarter. Play action, Jerome Washington left all alone. Wide open like a Burger King drive through, he gains 15. First down and 10, Sikowski gives to Blackshear and he can't get away from Dante Randall this time. And Blackshear had a very productive first quarter of play to help put Rutgers up 10 to nothing. He gets drugged down that time. Back in the shotgun to the left side, Sikowski gets pressure, quick throw outside to Blackshear. All alone races Joey Shoemaker and is eventually drugged down, but not after picking up a gain of a 19 and getting Rutgers past the 50-yard line. Sitkowski, next play, bunch to the left side, fires and misses his target again as pressure was in his face. Rutgers comes out with a two-by-two -two bunch set, Blackshear to the left. Sitkowski takes snap, fires, caught Muhammad Jabby, makes a move to get by a defender and is eventually dropped. Simon Stevens drug him down, but not after he got a gain of 25 and puts Rutgers in the red zone with a chance to go up three possessions over Buffalo State College. Next play from the 19 out of the shotgun, get Blackshear. Blackshear cuts from left to right and gains about four on the carry. Makes it second down and six. And a substitution, Hillman checks in for Blackshear with 5.30 and taking. Hillman gets the carry to the right side on the delayed give. He's brought down, Todd Tremblay was there, but not before he picked up a first down and a gain of nine to put Rutgers at the 11 yard line. Sikowski takes a snap, has through the right side. No pressure Cummings. He rolls right. He fires, and Lewis can't make the catch off his hands to make it second down and 10. BSC catches a break, but they still have to stop him. Sikowski delayed give Blackshear. Blackshear looks for room and falls forward after a gain of about two. Excellent fill from Marshawn Colliver, the freshman safety. Third down and eight, Sitkowski, two by two set, takes a snap, fires over the middle. Shameen Jones, close to the sticks. Did he get there? They say he did, a tough spot. No review, however, as it's first down and goal. Trips to the right side from the one yard line. Sitkowski keeps it and he rushes in for his second score of the day on the ground. And Rutgers, with 4.33 remaining in the first half, takes a 17 impending extra point to nothing lead over Buffalo State College in their inaugural game in the FBS. Nevertheless, Tayshawn Prince and co. back to work and the gives to Jeremiah Banks and he is swallowed up again. Deontay Roberts makes his second big play. Next play, bunch to the right, Prince takes snap, rolls and he is pressured and dropped for a loss of 10. So the TFL before in an even bigger one, it's prevalent again for his second sack of the day. He completely abuses the left guard, Brandon Nash. Sets up third down and 20 for BSC. Prince takes the snap. Pressure comes again. Hit as he throws. And it is incomplete as he was unable to put air under it. BSC has to punt again with 338 left in the half. And yet again, we see Derek Rain, the prolific punter, who takes it down to the 45-yard line. Lewis takes it off one bounce, jukes a man, stiff arms another, and gets down inside the 40-yard line, setting up Rutgers in excellent field position. Too wide for Sitkowski. He takes the snap. Pump fakes the screen. Now he's going to go downfield. Fire deep. He's got a man in jab. He can't hang on downfield. He had a step or two on Joey Shoemaker, but instead it's second down and 10. Spread flex two by two. Jabby makes the catch this time. Make it third down and seven. 
Rutgers is 50% on third downs today. They look to extend it. Third down and seven. Sikowski spits in the pocket. Fires outside. And it's caught for a second. And Danny Dripper with the excellent deflection to deny the first down. And on fourth down, Rutgers sends the field goal team onto the field to make it a 20-point lead. The long attempt is up and through. Rutgers leads by 20 with two minutes, 53 seconds remaining in the first half of play. But you have to be excited with Buffalo State's defense bending, not breaking. As Rutgers nails the third field goal this afternoon, DJ Lee ensuing kickoff takes it out past the 20 to the 30 to the 40 daylight and out of bounds at about the 43 yard line, 41 yards on the return as Tayshawn Prince gives back to Jeremiah Banks. He sheds a tackle quickly and picks up a gain of about seven on the carry. Shotgun set, two tight ends in the formation, two wide receivers give Jeremiah Banks. He spins and is dropped in the backfield. He got maybe back to the line of scrimmage, but not much more. And on third down and three, they come out shotgun set again. Two by two sets, Jeremiah Banks is the lone back. Prince sets up screen for Banks yet again. And Banks picks up a first down on third down. Buffalo State is able to convert. Bengals have a fresh set of down. Tayshawn Prince, three to the right side. He draws back, pressure comes, tries to get away from it, and he cannot. Time runs out, and he is dropped for a loss of 17. Couldn't get outside the pocket, and he's faced with second down and very long. Prince takes snap, and he is sacked again. The offensive line is getting abused, and welcome to D1 competition. We heard in the last episode that they've eaten a lot at the Golden Corral to work up their sizes. And maybe that wasn't the right move as Prince on third down and 36 just takes a shot downfield and it's nearly intercepted. So with 55 seconds left, they have to punt it back to Rutgers who has a chance to go up four possessions. As Sikowski fires quick across the middle, caught Hunter Hayek and he has a first down approaching field goal range. And that would set up the fourth field goal of the afternoon as Sikowski goes downfield and beats cover two. Shameen Jones has it over the top for 14 yards. Two by two bunch set, Sikowski first down and 10, 35 seconds, dump off, Hunter Hayek breaks a tackle and he gets close to the first down marker in another tough spot, but they give it to him. Rutgers hurries it up, first down and 10, 30 seconds and ticking in the first half, Sikowski Fires outside, Eddie Lewis makes the reception this time. Three different receivers so far on this drive and it's only just begun. Give Raheem Blackshear, Blackshear spins off a tackle and is spun down, make it first down and goal. Can BSC hold? That will help as a false start is committed by Rutgers. First down and goal, Sikowski keeps it himself. Goes out to his left side, he breaks the tackle and is dropped down at about the one yard line, a gain of six. And they hold, they hurried up for probably one more play. Sikowski, second and goal, five seconds, fires. And through the goal post, nobody was open. With four seconds, they will take the field goal to make it their fourth field goal of the half. It is up and through, and Rutgers going into the half leads 23 to nothing over Buffalo State in what has been a dominant game. But of course, there is still a lot of football to play. Jack Legion back for the first half as Tayshawn Prince and Taco start with the football. Prince play action, finds a wide open man. It's DJ Lee, he jukes and gets tackled immediately, but gains 14 yards in a first down nonetheless. They go shotgun, Jeremiah Banks, the back to the right side, they give to Banks. Banks cuts from left to right and picks up a gain of about six, but he is shaken up. That could be bad for this offense as Grant checks in. Grant takes the carry, finds a hole up the middle and a lot of running room. A gain of 11 for Marcus Grant as he gets Buffalo State down to the 50-yard line on their first drive. Prince back, gives Jeremiah Banks who checks back in, but nothing to find there as he maybe gets past the line of scrimmage. Make it second down and nine. Jeremiah Banks spins and gains about five yards, setting up third down and three. They're one for five on third down today. Tayshawn Prince looks to correct the trend and Ben Bush cannot haul it in on fourth down and three. Can't make the play and they stay on the field to go for it. Too close to punt and Hunter Haskins too high, can't haul it in. Tight coverage and excellent defense by Rutgers to stall the Buffalo State drive and leave them scoreless on the season. Arthur Sikowski has been a problem. He takes the field for the second half. He gives right Raheem Blackshear from left to right on the sweep. He puts his head down and plows forward for a gain of eight yards to the 50 yard line. Sikowski keeps it on the inverted veer and gains about one. Great defense by Buffalo State. Can they hold third down and one? 
Kowski takes the snap from the empty set. Pressure comes, finds his man. It's Lewis. Lewis with a lot of room, and Marshawn Culliver brings him down by his ankles. But Eddie Lewis has done the damage. 24 yards and a first down. Sitkowski goes empty again. Dumps it off outside for Muhammad Javi. Javi stiff arms to the 10 yard line and down to the 9 for first down and goal. Interesting to see them go empty again, but it's worked out well. Sikowski sits in the pocket, has all the time to throw. Pressure comes on the outside. He rolls right, lost the football. Picked up by Seymour. And it's a sack for a loss of nine nonetheless. But however, Rutgers maintains possession. Dante Randall gets his first sack of the season, but he's been all over the field today with three TFLs already in this game. It's only the third quarter. Make it second down and goal. Sitkowski keeps it on the read option. Breaks the tackle from Tremblay. Stiff arms Danny Dripper. And he's down to the seven yard line. Gains 10 yards back from the nine they lost. Third down and goal. Sitkowski draws back to throw. Has all the time in the world. Steps up. Fires end zone. And it's nearly intercepted. Simon Stevens played great defense. And another field goal for Rutgers is good. As Tayshawn Prince and the offense take back over with 255. Prince rolls out right to run and down 26 they need all the help they can get Tayshawn Prince with 23. Fresh set of downs for Buffalo State. Jeremiah Banks gets the handoff on the sweep on first down breaks a tackle plows forward and a nice tough run for 10 yards but not quite a first down. Come on refs. Second down in inches gave back to Jeremiah Banks. Banks with a tough run up the middle. Blind's done a good job of opening holes today as he's averaging about four yards a carry. He gets it again, because why not? Jeremiah Banks weaves to the left side, works towards the sideline, and gains about nine before getting shoved out of bounds. Make it second and one. Out of the pistol, Jeremiah Banks takes it again. Doesn't gain much, but it's enough for a first down carry. About a minute 30 left in the game. First down and 10. Prince play action. Rolls right. Has pressure. He's dropped. And Tayshawn Prince is shaken up on the play favoring his ribs, and this could not be good as Zach Mead, the junior quarterback, steps in for relief. Second down and 22, he gives Jeremiah Banks. He cuts to the outside, looks for room, has a little bit, makes it third down and 17 for Zach Mead in the offense. Bunch set right, Mead takes a snap, drops back, fires downfield, and nearly intercepted. Nearly picked off by Key Hester. He was looking for Dave Watsky, and he was nowhere in the area. They stay on. Mead goes empty. Feels pressure. Fires downfield. He's got a man open. Denzel Moss. No. He missed him. That would have been the first points of the season for Buffalo State, but instead it's turnover on down. Sitkowski draws back. Fires on the wheel outside. Blackshear hit by Marshawn Colliver, who came in and denied him of the catch. Excellent play by the freshman. Second down and 10, Sitkowski goes empty, throws over the middle, caught Shaheem Jones, and he has a first down. And word is coming about Tayshawn Prince. He will not return to this game. It's all precautionary, though, down by 26. He will be good to go next week, as in motion. Sitkowski gives the counter to Blackshear, and Blackshear has hit Marshawn Culliver again, coming up with another big stop. Make it second down and four for the offense. They go trips to the left side. Sitkowski gives back to Blackshear, and he's wrapped up. Wendell Wallace, the second defensive tackle. The junior is right there to make it third down and four. Trips again. Sitkowski, quick throw over the middle. Jerome Washington has it, and he cannot escape Matthew Littlefield. And Rutgers settles for a long field goal. It is up from 57 out and off the crossbar, and no good. Just couldn't quite get it as it hit the lower post. So excellent starting field position for Zach Mead in the offense. They'll have to see what they do with it as Zach Mead rolls to his right side. Stops for a second and he decides to run. Gains about five on the carry. Second down and five sends Watsky in motion from right to left. Jeremiah Banks is the back. He gets the carry right up the middle in a big lane and a first down for Buffalo State. Jeremiah Banks, a workhorse today. He'll have to be with Tayshawn Prince out. Mead rolls to his right side, stops, fires downfield on a dime, he's got a man, it's DJ Lee downfield for 26 yards, the biggest play on offense to this point, and it's made by the most dynamic, very suitably. And oh, what's this? They come out in the monster, 3-0 linemen. DJ Lee, the receiver to the left, he gets the screen, he spins and he's dropped after a gain of about four. Didn't work quite that well, and what a weird formation from Buffalo State nonetheless as Mead play action. Quick throw and he missed his man. He had Hunter Haskins open over the middle but just missed him under pressure. Make it third down and six. Zach Mead, pressure comes, throws out the back of the end zone as pressure arrived in his face to make it fourth down and six with 4.25 left. 
Mead goes empty, takes the snap, throws quick over the middle. B.J. Lynch makes the catch. He turns up field and he's into the end zone for a Buffalo State touchdown. The first touchdown in program history comes from backup quarterback Zach Mead to fourth string wide receiver B.J. Lynch. And with all that talent, one of those guys is going to get open eventually as Blackshear and Co. go back to work. He rumbles ahead for a gain of 15 and Rutgers is not done. Split back, Sikowski takes the snap, sets up screen for Blackshear. He makes the catch, and Littlefield was the first one there. Randall comes in to clean it up. Excellent defense from the Bengals. Second down and nine, same formation. Sikowski sits in the pocket, fires over the middle, caught Hillman. He breaks a tackle from Littlefield and is finally dropped after a gain of about 18. But a fresh set of downs for Rutgers nonetheless. As Sikowski goes back to work, fires it over the middle, and a beautifully placed ball. A touch pass to Hunter Hayek for five yards. Next play, they spread it out. Sikowski, read option. He spins and Littlefield drops him. Make it third down and three. Can Buffalo State's defense hold again inside the 30-yard line? Sikowski drops back to throw. He steps up and Billy Bob Bobo comes in and takes him down. Arthur Sikowski is dropped. And better yet, way out of field goal range as Billy Bob Bobo beats the right guard and mercilessly takes down Sitkowski. Zach Mead back to work. Can they score again? 137, this could be their last chance. Dave Watsky for seven. Second down and three. Trips to the right side, finds Watsky and he drops it. Make it third down and three. They spread it out, a tight end to the right side. Zach Mead fires quickly, caught Denzel Moss to the 40 yard line. Not quite across the 50 yard line as he gains 13 yards. 125 remaining, they spread it out, trips to the left side. Meade steps back, fires, and Denzel Moss is there to make the catch. Make it second down in inches, they use a timeout. And Meade had to go to the 10, so it's third string quarterback Adrian Armstrong, and he fires, and it's caught. Dave Watsky for 15. The quarterback def showing they can get it done. Zach Meade back in the game, he floats downfield, and between two defenders, Denzel Moss has it. What a throw from Zach Mead in between the corner and the safety in cover two. And they get it done. First down and 10 with under a minute left. Zach Mead rolls right, stops on the dime, fires to the outside in the end zone, and it's caught for a touchdown. Yes, Denzel Moss has it. And the Mead to Moss connection gets it done. Buffalo State's offense couldn't get going in the first half or the third quarter, but in the fourth, they scored 14 unanswered against Rutgers, a power five school, and they lose 14 to 26. But this program has made a statement and said, this is what we can do. We are an experienced team and we will punch you in the mouth. My name is Legion. I'm excited to turn it back to FG. What an exciting game. 14 to 26 is your final as Buffalo State goes down, but not without a fight. I will see you all next week. What an exciting game that was. Legion said it best, but the Bengals were completely outplayed for the first three quarters, and it took losing starting quarterback Tayshawn Prince to injury for the remainder of the game in order for the Bengals to find some kind of rhythm. And while he missed a couple of key throws, Meade played excellent in relief as he scored two touchdowns on a couple very difficult throws. The question every Bengals fan has to be asking is, if there is a quarterback controversy, and while you have to think that Prince is the guy moving forward, Coach Dupree is going to go with the guy that gives his team the best chance to win, and today... That was Zach Mead. I thought two other positives today were the running game and the red zone defense. Jeremiah Banks looked like a problem when his line gave him room to work with as he seemed like more than a one-dimensional elusive back today and had some surprising hidden power in his game that we didn't necessarily see at even the D3 level. As for the defense, it's no secret that Dante Randall was all over the field today, finishing with three TFLs, a sack, and a forced fumble. But senior strong safety Todd Tremblay quietly led the team with eight tackles, and Matthew Littlefield and Oliver Rover looked as advertised today. Rutgers attempted five field goals. Yes, five. And we're four for five, so when you look at that final score of 14 to 26, there's no doubt that it could have been much worse. Next week, the Bengals travel home to host Western Michigan in their first ever MAC Conference game. Western Michigan has a talented roster, 
They are starting redshirt junior quarterback John Wasink, who is kind of a middle-class man's Arthur Sitkowski. All I have to say is that if the Bengals can bring the chemistry, the focus, and the momentum from the fourth quarter today back home with them, Western Michigan could very well be on upset alert. That's all from us in the Buffalo State Bengals Dynasty today. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us. Make sure you drop a like on the video, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and want to see more NCAA Football 14 Dynasty content on the channel. Stick with us, and we could build a winner together here with Buffalo State.